What's up guys, Zach Melton here, and we are building a bag for an advanced player. And we chose the Combat Ranger because it's kind of more of a, a more serious player's bag. It's got a little extra space, uh, extra padding, and yeah, we're gonna fill this bad boy up. We are looking for the Raiders, and we found them. Uh, the top row are one or like lighter weight, like sub 170, and the, the second row is 173, 176. So we'll get a heavy and a light one. Um, usually, when I look for Raiders, I want a little dome on them. Those typically have a little more stability. So we're gonna rock with a, a heavy one. This white one is a little bit of dome, and we're gonna grab a lightweight one. Ooh, this pink looks nice. 169 and this is a little flatter as well you can kind of tell there's less pop so odds are this raider is going to be a little straighter than this white one so we'll give them two to to kind of test with see which one he likes more all right we found the enforcers and we're only going to rock with one of those because enforcers over stable it's a wind fighter it's the beefcake so we just need one of those guys in the bag personally i like these white guys because you can see a little swirl in them a little bit they almost look like hybrid but Lucid Enforcer, so um, 173. Nice flat boy, pretty, overstable. This will complement the Raider very nicely. We have a couple Raiders. We have an Enforcer, so we kind of have neutral, and then we have overstable. Now I was thinking we need to get a understable driver, or one that'll have a little flip, and so we're at the Trespasses. Um, there's 172, like 170, 172, and then we got lighter weight ones, and we want this to be like an understable option for our guy. So we're gonna look in the 160 to 169. Yeah, let's rock with this guy. So we have a Lucid Trespass, 169 gram. Uh, it's nice and flat. This should be a little less stable than the lightweight Raider we have. So should give them a little more glide, a little more turnover on those long drives. For our advanced player, we we're thinking a little more control, something to, to give them an option between like a slow seven speed fairway and their drivers. We want to rock with a fusion sergeant. Fusion sergeant, the sergeant is like an 11 speed. Um, it's not as fast as your typical drivers. It's a little slower, but you still get glide out of them, a little more control, less fade and movement. So we wanted to give them an option with the sergeant. All right, so we are starting the fairways now, and we're gonna start with a felon, which is overstable. It's the wind fighter. Um, we're grabbing a Gavin Raspin uh, Tour Series felon. Um, this thing's pretty sweet. It's nice and flat, and it's very overstable. This will give our guy something to fight the wind. We have a felon for the fairways. We need a more kind of go-to fairway that's Stable with a little stability, but not as overstable as a felon. So we're snagging an evader. Um, we got these Lucid Ice Ricky evaders, which have a nice little dome, right? Which means a little extra stability. And because the evader is that kind of go-to straighter fairway, we're gonna snag another one, but it's gonna be a normal Lucid plastic instead of the Ricky Lucid Ice. So maybe a little bit straighter version of it. So we have a felon and we have two evaders. Now we need that really, really straight complement to the Evader, which is that other good go-to fairway. And we are gonna grab a Maverick. And not just any Maverick. Hey, We're getting our boy a Fusion X Burst Maverick. Got this cool last name on it. Really neat stamp. Um, the Fusion X Maverick is very, very, very straight. Um, you can work flip-ups with it right out of the box. You can get slow drifts, but it's a nice go-to straight fairway. And uh, what we're gonna do is grab one of these guys, which is a little more neutral, and then we're gonna grab a Biofusion Maverick, which is a little less stable to give kind of a compliment to this one. To finish off our fairway lineup, we were thinking we needed a roller disc. And the Fury is a good understable fairway, pretty much a roller right out of the box, so we're gonna snag one of these guys. And let's go with, uh, let's go with an orange one. Go Vols. You see it kind of has a, like a smooth profile. It's not really domey, it's not really flat, but the numbers, um, nine, six, negative two, two, it's basically a roller out of the box, so should work. Or lefty, either way. We are starting our mid ranges and we're gonna go with the B first, which we've done so far, and we're gonna grab a Macy Veladiez Ice Justice. Um, I like the blue. 
you can kind of see this ice plastic, super see-through crystal looking. Um, the Justice is flat, very overstable, and this ice plastic, it kind of has like a little bit softer feel, which is nice. Um, we're gonna roll with this guy. All right, so we're gonna grab a couple of straighter mid-ranges and we're gonna go with the Emac Truth. And we got some really cool looking my dies and we're gonna grab a flag my die and one of these other crazy looking dies. Give them little, little options to pick from. Emac Truth's good, it's a straight mid-range, little bit of fade, but straight for the most part. So that should take care of the majority of the mid-range throws. So we have a Justice, we have two Emac Truths. There's a little bit of a gap there, so we're gonna snag a Chris Clemens Verdict. Nice and flat, overstable, give some lefty love. So we have a Justice, a Verdict, two Emacs. We need that understable mid-range, so we're gonna go with the Latitude 64 Gold Ice Fuse. It's very dependable, understable mid-range. So we're to our throwing putters. And the first one we're gonna snag is the beefy guy, the Saki Bomb Slammer. The Saki Bomb Slammer has the thumb track. Um, very overstable in any wind. It's not gonna let you down. It's a great approach disc. I use it. So we're gonna hook up our guy with this thing. So next up, we're gonna grab a Lucid Judge. Uh, the Judge as a throwing putter, it's, it's got a little stability, but it's pretty straight. Um, it kind of covers a lot of shots, whether it be a little turn, a little straight, a little hyzer. So it's pretty, um, pretty good in all situations. We've got the Saki Bomb Slammer for the beef, judge for the straight. So last and most importantly, we need two putting putters. Got to have a set always. And we are here with the classic Supreme Judges. Those new news just dropped. These guys were sitting right on top. The judge has a bead, um, flat top. For putting, they have a little stability, but they're pretty straight and they're going to go in. So. We're gonna hook them up with these guys. 